New developments tonight in the Capitol Hill riot. As we first told you last week, federal prosecutors claim a Titusville man was one of the organizers of the insurrection. Yeah, and today that man found out he's going to stay in jail until his trial. New 6 investigator Eric Sandoval is live at the federal courthouse in downtown Orlando with more on what happened today in court. Eric? Yeah, Justin, Kenneth Harrelson is this man's name. He actually took the stand in his own hearing this afternoon to prove that he wasn't a threat to society and he also wasn't a flight risk. Now, he had to do that to convince a judge to grant him bond and release him from jail. But prosecutors came armed with pictures of him inside the U.S. Capitol. Let me show you what we're talking about here. These are surveillance pictures that the prosecutors claim Harrelson was a member of the Oath Keepers with, something he admitted to in court today. They claim he conspired with other members of the organization, including a couple from Marion County. Now, they claim the, gl the group plotted strategy for forming a military-style lineup, the steps of the Capitol building, in order to get inside. Now, in court today, Harrelson admitted that he was inside the Capitol that day, but he denied being part of any violence or any riots. He says he's a veteran who suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, a condition that he says has gone untreated. In the end, as you mentioned, the federal judge agreed with prosecutors saying that he should stay in jail, at least for right now. But back out here live, Harrelson also said in court today that he suffers from high blood pressure and claimed that workers at the Seminole County Jail were not giving him his medication. The judge ordered the U.S. Marshals to look into that. He's going to be sent to Washington, D.C. now to stand trial. And if he's convicted, he could face a maximum of 36 years in prison. We're live outside the federal courthouse in downtown Orlando. Eric Sandoval getting results, News 6.